Hello YouTube, it's Jake and Kyle again, and today we are bringing one of our more popular videos. It's got the most views on our channel. The Yamaha RC video, it's our second one we've done so far. Um, we just got like a foot of snow out of nowhere. We thought we were done for the season, we had the bikes out and everything. But we got a foot of snow and we decided to make a little track and bring them out. Um, but really love these snowmobiles. They get stuck a bit, as you can see. Um, and they tip over quite easy because they are so light, but it, that is part of the reason I like them. Um, well, this one doesn't have studs, so that's part of the reason that it's not gripping as fast. But they do, like, dig down and eventually they get out of there. Um, but, so the studded one is working a lot better than the non-studded one. It's got a lot more acceleration and grip. But now we're going to do a powder test. This is part, like, the one main reason or not, one of the main reasons I love these is they can go in deep powder and not sink in. Um, only reason it's ever sunk in is it like really deep powder. And even at that, it was really deep powder. Um, but so the reason that this is so good is it's so light. And all the other brands, or uh, yeah, Skidoo, Polaris, they're so heavy. I mean, they're well built, and but they're just so heavy that they sink right through. And they're also so slow because they're so heavy. But this is so light that it stays on top of the powder and can do stuff like this. That one was with studs and carbides. This is without. I don't know if there'll be a difference, just from a little bit of traction for the with studs. But the newer one has no studs or carbides. My dad finally let me put those on the old RC because he didn't want me to do it to the new one or like wreck it. But it worked out perfectly fine. What we did is we put a nail through the thicker part of the track, or a screw, and we put a nut on the other side and it stays so well so far. Um, and the carbides are just, um, I'm not even sure, they're like heavy duty uh, paper clips I believe. And we just grind, uh, sanded them down so they're a pointed edge and they work perfectly fine. Um, sorry about the brightness or the dark, it's getting dark out and we just wanted to film this because the snow was already melting. Well, it was going to melt tomorrow. So sorry about the lighting, but this is a turning test. This, I believe, is without. I can see one. Yeah, so that one was without. This one is with carbide. I believe that this one is a little bit better um, just because it has the carbide that turns a little bit better. Um, but yeah, so sorry about the lighting, it's a little bit bad, but the carbides definitely help with the extra traction, you can see the studs and the track there. This is a jumping test, so we just wanted to do this, we had a big hill. It's not really a jump, but, um, so here's the only one that actually works. Again, not much of a jump, um, but so these next two are just a fail. <laughs> it turns, like, they're so light that they tip over so easily, that one we just completely missed the jump. Um, so this is just some more free riding. It's sorry about the brightness. I, we really needed to get this out because the next day I'm pretty sure most of it melted. Um, but you can see the one without a mud or the snow flap is the one with studs. That was a soft spot the whole day. They just sunk in there, and there's the other one. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on the RC. We are super excited to be doing this. This is my favorite video to get out. Um, so thanks for all the support with the channel. We really like it. Uh, stay tuned for more videos on Mototech definitely this summer. So please like and subscribe to this channel.